What's up everyone, Delta down here. So, summer is just around the corner and a lot of things around me are starting to open up again. I've had my second vaccination, so uh, I have no, no worries. My worries about uh, being sick have uh, died down and I'm ready to get back out there. And one of the biggest things that I've missed doing during the summertime is going to amusement parks, especially ones that have uh, water rides. I've been searching, looking up uh, water slides and I've come across uh, this video called Top 10 Most Dangerous Water Slides. And it's by the YouTube channel Daily Top 20s. And I've heard, I've had my share of uh, hearing horror stories about uh, amusement park rides gone bad, you know, water slip, or just about all the things that could possibly go wrong. Like, I've seen that uh, HBO Max uh, movie that my family's been watching, uh, Class Action Park, I believe it's called. Yeah, where it showed uh, all, all kinds of dangerous rides there. Wondering if any of those are going to be uh, listed on this, but... I don't know, I think it might be just be focusing on uh, water slides that are currently open and uh, ones that you should definitely ride at your own risk. I'm just hoping this doesn't ruin water slides for me. But uh, let's check it out. You might not think of danger when you think of water slides. In fact, you might assume that water slides are safe. But the water slides on this list will have you rethinking your assumptions. Here are the top 10 most dangerous water slides. All right, let's see it. Number 10, Insano, Brazil Beach Park, Brazil. Insano. The Insano slide is insanely steep and is located oh. at the beach of Porto das Dunas in Aquiraz in Brazil. I think I've heard of this the one. The 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into an exit pool below. The slide opened in 1989 and when it did, it was the tallest water slide in the world. The slide is not for the faint of heart though. In fact, employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding. The ride is only really? five seconds long, but because it is so steep, some sliders lose contact with the slide and actually become airborne during the drop. Oh. Because the slide is so dangerous, sliders are instructed on how to ride the slide. They must remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the world, but it remains the fastest, as sliders can reach speeds of a heart-pounding 65 miles per hour. Whoa. Okay, so you're going down that thing 65 miles an hour, and there's the chance that you could lose contact with the right... Oh my god. Yeah, I tell you, like, I've... I've been a lot, like I said, I've been a lot of water slides and uh, to me that rarely ever, ever happens. And when it does, I'm just like, oh my God, you know, like, yeah, I don't blame people for being scared of going on that thing. I mean, you know, like losing contact with that, you know, falling so high, just, wow. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping nobody gets seriously hurt on this thing. Good God. All right, let's, let's see. Number nine, the Aqua Loop at Wet n Wild, Gold Coast, Australia. Australia? The Aqua Loop is a near vertical water slide that sends its riders down a 10 meter drop and into an inclined pool. During the seven okay. second slide, riders can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and can experience a G-force of 2.5. The Whoa. slide, which was designed by Whitewater West Aquarina, relies on sliders achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. Yeah, I was about to say there's a However, loop on this. not all sliders do. A woman sued the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. I can't say I've been on one like this. She pulled herself out through an escape hatch, but she experienced several injuries. Oh, man. Nonetheless, the Aqua Loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous, slide at Wet n Wild. In fact, the park itself is the busiest water park in Australia and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous aqua loop annually. Man. Number eight. I mean, that's just crazy how, you know, P, there's a reported case of people, of someone getting injured, being stuck on that ride, and they still continue to ride it anyway. Man. Yeah, they got some serious thrill seekers out there, but, uh, yeah, like, personally, if I found out that someone was injured on a ride, then, yeah, no, I don't chance it. Right? Anything in an amusement park, you know, you want to make sure you play things safe. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll try not to interrupt so much. The Black Hole, Wet n Wild, Orlando, Florida. I've seen this. The Black Hole water slide I want to is try an this. inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. Wet n Wild, Orlando is owned by NBC Universal and was founded by the creator of SeaWorld, George uh -huh. Millay. 
The menacing black tubes of the black hole look ominous, and rightfully so. The black hole has faced numerous lawsuits over the years, including a $1.73 million payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 when he struck something during the ride. Part what? of the danger of the slide stems from the timing of the ride. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. However, the staff is told to send people down at 20-second intervals. What? This does not leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down, making it a dangerous sliding experience. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, so you're telling me, okay, 23 seconds to go down, and then they just assume after just 20 seconds it's clear, and then they send the next person. I, yeah, it's like, let's see, uh, okay, uh, my time says about, uh, I th like, I think it's been 20 seconds. Okay, send the next person. I mean, couldn't they just have someone at the bottom, like, radio it up, the, up towards them? The guy who's sending the people down to, to, say, to confirm that it's cleared? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Okay. Next. Number seven. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario. Oh. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate charges from injured people. Riders of the steamer slide sit on a tube, slide through a dark tunnel, and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The what? Technical Standards and Safety Act, which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence and of not having the proper equipment to ensure the safety of its riders. And although some of the charges were dismissed, the park was found guilty on six accounts, resulting in a payout of $500,000 in damages. The sheer volume yeah. of injuries attests to the dangerous nature of the steamer slide. Yeah, that's why you gotta keep Number these rides six, maintained. The Vertigo Slide, Vertigo. Aqualandia Water Park, Spain. In Spain? The Vertigo okay. Slide in Spain's Aqualandia Water Park is Whoa. the highest water slide in Europe. It took two and a half months to build and stands proudly at 110 feet. 110 the Vertigo feet? Slide is actually two slides, the red slide being the taller of the two. Sliders stand at the top of the slide on a trap door, which is opened by an operator who presses a button. I've been on something Once similar Once the button to this. is pressed, the trap door is released and yep. sliders are plunged down a three second slide where they can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. The ride itself and the speed the riders experience is dangerous. However, it the trapdoor presents its own dangers. In July 2014, the trapdoor failed to fully open and a man was severely injured when he was sent through the partially opened trapdoor. The man and his injuries were attended to by park staff, but the slide was reopened a mere 10 minutes after the incident. What? Needless to say, this dangerous slide made headlines in the news as a result. What? Hold on. Number five. A man just got injured by a faulty trapdoor, and you you just wait ten minutes. Ten minutes later, you you let people go on it again, like as if nothing happened. Come on. I mean, I mean, I just hope that guy's okay. I mean, man. I, I, now, now this makes me feel like uh, iffy about try, trying those trapdoor ones because I've been on a couple of them at uh, at, uh, at Six Flags. Uh, yeah, they have the ones that are similar to that, but not as tall. But, uh, yeah, now this this now makes me feel, feel like thinking twice about going on those again. Oh, my God. Cannonball Falls Action Park, New Jersey. Oh, they do a one direction park. The actual Cannonball Falls water slide itself is not that dangerous. But at the end of the slide, sliders are sent on a 10-foot drop into yep. the pool below. The fall of Cannonball Falls has resulted in countless injuries and was plagued with problems right from its opening. In fact, Cannonball Falls has the highest number of reported injuries of any water slide in the entire state of New Jersey. That's Sliders true. have reported shoulder, neck, and head injuries as a result of the 10-foot drop into the water. The park was actually told to shut down the slide at one point, but despite numerous injuries, the slide remained open and sliders kept on sliding and kept on getting hurt. Yep. Cannonball Falls is located at Action Park, New Jersey, which is notorious for its dangerous rides. It has been nicknamed Accident Park and Class Action Park Class due action to the park. obscene number of reported injuries. Yeah, this wasn't the only ride to cause injuries there. Number four, 
the Scorpion's Tale, Noah's Ark Water Park, Wisconsin Dells. Oh, I remember Noah's that one. Noah's Ark Water Park is a 70-acre water park with more than 50 attractions throughout the park. I miss Wisconsin fact, Dells. Noah's Ark is the largest water park in the United States. It is also home to one of the most dangerous slides in the world. The Scorpion's Tail is a menacing water slide where sliders are sent on a harrowing ride, including a 55-foot drop, a 70-degree angle plunge, oh, and a 60-degree angle loop. When the slide oh, first opened in 2010, it was the only water slide in the world to have full loop-to-loop -loop and was the first upside-down looping body slide. Oh, Although man. it is not the fastest slide around, Sliders do reach a speed of 30 miles per hour while on the 400 foot long slide. They also wait in a coffin like chamber at the start of the slide for the floor to fall out from under them. Oh, it's another one and of those, yeah. When they do get to the loop, they are 27 feet in the air. The Scorpion's Tail cost $1 million US to build, and despite its dangers, it remains a crowd favorite amongst water slide enthusiasts. Man. Number three, Leap of Faith. The Leap of Faith, Atlantis Water Park, Bahamas. Oh, the Bahamas. The Leap of Faith is a beautifully constructed water slide Whoa. that sits on a lovely Mayan themed temple. The Leap of Faith, though, despite its beautiful setting, has been called the scariest water slide in the world. The Leap of Faith, which oh. opened in 1998, consists of a near vertical 60 foot drop. And as if the drop weren't dangerous enough, once the drop is complete, riders are sent through a lagoon of sharks. Sliders, yes. somewhat safe inside a clear acrylic tunnel, are sent whizzing through the lagoon, where sharks approach the tube. Some sharks are literally only inches away. The sharks, which are hammerhead and Caribbean reef sharks, swim freely in the lagoon as sliders swiftly slide oh past, God. praying that nothing goes wrong with acrylic tubing. Wow, yeah, because... Number two. That's one of the biggest things that keeps people out of the water, the fear of sharks. And now we got a water slide that where you could actually go zooming right past a pool full of sharks. Yeah, like, uh, to me, that would seem uh, kind of cool, you know, like, uh, just where, where you could just go right, you know, into, through an aquarium, through a uh, water slide. But, you know, that drop, I imagine, would be pretty terrifying and uh, might be pretty dangerous as well. Right, let's continue. Right. Schlitterbahn Water Park, Kansas City. The Verrat, which is German for crazy or insane, was destined for fame when it opened on July 10th, 2014. It was the tallest water slide in the world at the time. The Verrat, at 168 feet, cost a staggering $3.6 million to build. Whoa. And although it did achieve fame as the tallest water slide in the world, it also achieved infamy as an accident on the slide led to the criminal arrest of the park owner. Oh my A 10 year old God. boy was killed on the slide when his raft went airborne. Investigations pointed to a number of unsafe aspects oh, on the slide. Jesus. The nets surrounding the slide were deemed unsafe. The restraints on the raft were deemed unsafe. And the ride should have had an unstop mechanism installed to prevent rafts from going airborne. All it didn't all, have that? The Verrucht was a dangerous slide that did not meet safety standards. It was shut down on August 7th, 2016. Good God. Number one, the Cannonball Loop, oh. Action Park, New Jersey. Oh yeah, A park that this is nicknamed one. Accident Park is sure to have more than one dangerous water slide. And although Cannonball Falls and its 10 foot drop is one of the most dangerous water slides on this list, Action Park is also home to the most dangerous water slide ever built. One yep. look at the insane Cannonball Loop, and you can see why this water slide could pose several safety issues. Yeah. Cannonball Loop, which was an enclosed water slide with a complete vertical loop at the end, has a set of disturbing stories surrounding it. Before the slide was officially opened, the owner of the park reportedly offered to pay employees $100 to try out the slide. The employees suffered nosebleeds and numerous injuries while sliding. Furthermore, Among other when things. the park owner sent a dummy down the slide, the dummy apparently came out the other side without its head. However, despite oh these massive God. red flags, the slide was still opened. Shortly after its opening, though, a woman got stuck at the top of the loop, forcing the park to install an escape hatch should it happen again. Needless to oh, say, man. the cannonball loop didn't last long. 
It was shut down by the advisory board on Carnival Amusement Park ride safety after only one month due to safety issues. Clearly one of the most dangerous water slides of all time, the Cannonball Loop has slid its way into the top spot on our list of top 10 dangerous water slides. And it's easy to see why. Check out my previous video on the top 10 largest app. Oh, man. So, yeah, like, two, so two of these uh, water slides came from uh, Action Park. Yeah, notorious for having, you know, all kinds of rides causing all sorts of injuries. Uh, this is back when uh, people just went there just for the thrill of it, you know. They didn't care about um, any of that. They just wanted to just go there, have a good time, despite all the risks. But, uh, yeah, that, you can see, seeing stuff like that, it's, you can clearly see why Action Park is uh, no longer in business. You know, I mean, what shocked me the most is seeing how the guy who got injured by the trap door of one of those slides... And then it's tended by the staff, and they just reopen it ten minutes later, as if as if nothing had happened. Oh, yeah, that was absolutely shocking to me. And so, like knowing that you know they something like that is in operation after that. My God. Yeah, I think of, I'm thinking about the ones that are similar to that in a uh, park nearby me, and now I feel iffy about trying that again. Like I said, man. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the top 10 most dangerous water slides. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any suggestions for what I should check out in the future, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.